Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Nerd Sanctuary. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the safety of your nerddom. And remember, please hit that like button and subscribe. Hello, everyone, and welcome to part four of our Corset 2021 set review. We're going to be talking about red cards in this video. Um, we're going to be talking about limited. We're going to be talking about standard and vintage possibilities and anything else that we can think of constructed and fun and not so much fun synergies and whatever we can do with constructed. Um, mostly focusing on limited because that's what you guys come here for and that's what I do. But uh, if I think it's fun or funny, I'm going to talk about it. All right. We're going to start right away with Battle Rattle Shaman. Three colors and a red gets you a uncommon goblin shaman. Shaman. It's 2-2 two -two at the beginning of combat on your turn. Your turn only. You may have target creature get plus 2, plus 0 oh until end of turn. So, used to think this card was amazing back in um, Rise of the Eldrazi times when I started Magic around there. A little bit before that, but you get the point. Um, it was okay at best. That was a very slow format. This, I don't think, is a slow format. I think it's actually kind of fast, tempo-y. Um, there's definitely much faster decks in this limited format. So, yeah, this might be okay. I don't think I would take this very highly in limited, but I don't think it's a bad play. We'll see a little later on much better choices at 4 mana, um, especially in red. And much better choices at the uncommon slot. So there's definitely a lot more uh, cards that I would take here. If I happen to wheel it or whatever, it might make my cut as basically my top end um, in like a red-white aggressive strategy. Not going to see any constructed play whatsoever. Moving on. Bolt Hound, two colors and a red. Elemental Dog. So it's a dog. That's cool. It's an uncommon. It has haste. It's a 2-2. Uh, when it attacks, other creatures you control get plus one, plus O oh, until end of turn. This is exactly what I meant by better uncommon cards. Um, yeah, this card's very good in the red-white strategy, the red-black strategy, uh, in limited. Very good. Might see constructed play, but I doubt it. It's not that good. Um, the only type of constructed play it's going to see is because it is a dog. And there are a limited amount of those, especially on Arena. Uh, for brawl purposes. Its spark is worse than its bite. Okay. Bone Pit Brute. Four colors. Red, red. Gets to a common Cyclops. Four, five. It has Menace. And when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus four, plus oh, until end of turn. Um, if you really are hurting for a top end, this could fill the slot in limited. Um, okay in sealed. But uh, not really where you want to be. Definitely don't want to be playing more than one of these. Um, no, it's not going to see constructed play. Not meant to be. Brash Taunter. That's fun card. Four colors and a red. It's a goblin. It's a rare. It's a 1-1, one -one, but it has indestructible. Whenever it is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. Two colors and a red. Tap it. Taunter fights another target creature. Yep, backwash... Um, points it out, better than Stuffy Doll. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, Stuffy Doll was colorless, and it's pretty much its only upside over this thing. Yeah, this card's fun. Um, check out Floating Ready Runs video. Uh, they did a really cool spoiler for this. It was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I think this card's fine. Um, I'll probably play it in Limited, but uh, it's not amazing there. You can do some interesting stuff if you get Death Touch on it and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Um, might be something somebody does in Constructed that's cute because there are some commander decks that do weird stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that, but I doubt it's going to be any good. Great blocker. Yep, that's kind of what it is. Unfortunately, it's a great blocker in red, which is not normally where you want to be blocking. But yeah, some people are going to do some fun stuff. It's a goblin. Might go in Goblin Brawl or something. I don't know. It's fun. It's really cool. Love the uh, flavor of this card. That's like taunting him, and then you get punched, and then you kind of punch him back. Yeah, it's cute. All right. Burn Bright. Two colors and a red. Instant. Common. Creatures you control get plus two, plus oh, until end of turn. Yep. 
we normally get something like this in either red or white. This time it's in red. It Notably, this can be used on the defense. It's really not where you want to be using it, but it can be, um, which is nice because normally it's attacking creatures get plus two plus L. doesn't say that here. Just creatures you control. So cool. Um, definitely want to be using this on the attack, but if you're desperate, I guess you can use it to defend. That's a really bad combat trick. Blech. Um, not constructed playable, most likely. Um, I know in Historic, we have a better one that costs two mana. Yeah. Probably not going to see constructed play. But it's okay in a red-white aggressive deck. Okay, here's our Planeswalker deck, Chandra. So this is the Planeswalker you get in your Chandra Planeswalker deck thingy. Four colors in a red. Uh, four colors, two red. Chandra, mythic, sort of. Uh, plus one deals three damage to each opponent. Minus two, cast target red instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard. Exile it. And minus eight, discard your hand, then draw seven cards. Until end of turn, you may cast those without paying their mana cost. Yep. I mean, this is probably the best of the ones we've seen so far from the deck. But uh, these cards are bad. Don't buy the deck. They're not going to see any good play. It's just the way it is. Six mana is a lot for this effect. And then you still need four turns to get this to work? Nah. Okay. This, though. This. This one. This is where you want to be. Chandra, Heart of Fire. Or is it Flame? <laughs> I picked a confusing art. Heart of Fire. Okay. Okay. Plus one. I'm sorry. Five loyalty. It's a mythic. It's a Chandra. Three colors and two red. Discard your hand, then exile the top three cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may play, play, so you can play lands, cards exiled this way. So, you know, if you're empty-handed, this thing's insane. Be careful with that in limited, but should be fine since you're in a red. Uh, plus one again. Chandra, Heart of Fire, deals two damage to any target. Oh my goodness. That's probably what you're going to be using a lot of. Minus nine, search your graveyard and library for any number of red instant or sorcery spells. Exile them. Shuffle your library. You may cast them this turn. Add six red mana. So win the game. Yeah. This is going to see all kinds of play. So get used to it. Chandra's Fire Maw. Uh, this is also from the... Planeswalker box, three colorless, two red, gets you a Hillian, rare sort of haste, four two. When this thing enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for Chandra, Flame, Catalysts, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Yep, don't play this card, it's bad, it's not in limited, so don't worry about it. Chandra's Incinerator, though, that's a different story. Five colors and a red gets you a rare elemental 6-6. Six, six. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the amount of non-combat damage dealt to your opponents this turn. It has Trample. Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or Planeswalker that player controls. Oh my goodness. This card is good everywhere. It's good in limited. It's good in standard. It might even see modern play. It's not hard for someone to have three red mana, bolt you, bolt you, play this thing uh, in modern. Uh, probably going to be slotted as like a two of or three of in like historic. Probably going to see some Brawl play and Tor brand stuff like that. This card's going to be around. I don't know how good it's going to be, but people are going to try it. And it's amazing and limited. So take it, play it. It's going to be great. 6-6 six, six tr with Trample for anything less than 6 mana is great. Okay, Chandra's Magmut. One colorless and a red. Gets you a 2-2. Two, two. It's an elemental dog. Doggy. Uh, this doggo deals 1 damage to target player or Planeswalker when you tap it. So it's a 2-2 two, two for two in the beginning of the game, and it's a pinger towards the end. This card's great. 
Uh, not great, but it's 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 fine. It's good. You're gonna want two twos in this deck. You're gonna want to be aggressive. Uh, it's good. I like this card a lot. God forbid if you can get. Uh, oh no, no, never mind. This doesn't work. But if you get lifelink on it, it deals one, gain one. That's funny. But uh, yeah, this card's fine. Limited. It's gonna slot right into your deck. Uh, probably won't see too much constructed play. Some people are gonna build a dog deck, including myself. So it might slot into that deck, but I doubt it. Chandra's Pyroling. One color center red gets you a 1-3 this time. Elemental Lizard. Uncommon. Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Pyroling gets plus 1, plus 0, and gains double strike until end of turn. Uh, this is a scary non-combat damage guy. Um, so yeah, be careful with if your opponent has the thing in play, even in limited. I don't know how much play it's going to see in constructed uh, since we already have Ember Cleave on everything anyway. But, um, yeah, this thing can get scary real quick. So I would play it in Limited, and I'm going to be real careful about this thing. It'll kill you out of nowhere. Be careful. Conspicuous Snoop. Red, red Goblin Rogue. Hey, another rogue. It's a rare... 2-2, two, two, play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast goblin spells from the top of your library. As long as the top card of your library is a goblin card, Conspic Conspicuous Snoop has all activated abilities of that card. Um, Probably not the greatest card in Limited. I don't know how many goblins you're going to end up with in Limited. You're not going to try and make a synergy out of goblins in this form. In the in limited in the format, but this is definitely going to see some constructed play. How much? I don't know. It depends on how good those activated abilities are, how often you can do it, how many lands you have to play in the deck. Um, but probably going to see some brawl play and such like that. So it's a fun card. I like it. Art is hilarious. So cool card. I wouldn't play it in limited very often. Crash through. We've had this card a ton. It's a common. It costs one red. It's a sorcery. Creatures you control get trample until end of turn. Draw a card. Now we see this kind of card in modern um, to give your prowess creatures, mono red prowess creatures, trample and such like that. To just draw a card, keep going off of Metamorpho, stuff like that. So constructed play, sure. Limited play, not usually. That's kind of that. Um, doesn't give haste, so meh. Destructive tampering. Two colors and a red for a common sorcery. Destroy target artifact. Creatures without or creatures without flying can't block this turn. So we get this half a falter effect, which means creatures can't block. Or destroy an artifact. Could be okay. Most likely just a sideboard card. Um if you really need a falter, like you're having a really hard time closing out games in the limited, this could do it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Falter is sometimes really good, sometimes really bad. Probably won't see any constructed play, though. Oh, man. I'm about to start singing. Some about double vision. Three colors, red, red. Gets you an enchantment. It's a rare. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery each turn. So your turn, their turn, your turn, their turn. Copy that spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. Yeah, this card paired with the card we're going to see here in a little bit is pretty interesting. Um, you can get a lot of damage going here. But uh, I don't think we're going to see much constructed play. I don't think it's very good in limited. Um, that's just a guess, though. This could be very good in Commander or something like that. Maybe Brawl wants to draw a bunch of cards off of this. It's interesting. I don't think so, but I've been wrong before. I actually think this card's kind of bad. Five men enchantment doesn't do a whole lot. And this would be that card I was talking about because we have a mythic called Fiery Emancipation. Three colorless, red, 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 gets you an enchantment. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or a player, it deals triple. That's right. I said triple that damage to that permanent or player instead. Someone's going to bust this card in Commander. Most likely. Um, 
Shocking someone gets, you know, what, 12 damage or whatever off of this. Oh, no, Shocking plus a Torbrand. Oh, gross. This card can get nutty quick. Um, yeah, I can definitely see playing this in uh, in limited. This is not a six mana do nothing enchantment. Uh, you play this, go to attacks, everything's dealing triple. It's if a source you control would deal damage. It doesn't have to be red. It doesn't have to be an instant or sorcery. It doesn't have to be non combat damage. Anything, triple it. That's insane. Yeah, this card's good. Okay, we have a reprint in Furious Rise. Love that there's no restrictions. Yeah, exactly, Backswatch. Two colors and a red gets you an uncommon enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power four or greater, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. Uh, this is not a May ability. It's a May that you play it, but it's not a May ability that you trigger it, so keep that in mind when you're playing this. Uh, I didn't like it the first time it was it came around. It was kind of finicky, and I'd rather have just had a creature with power four in this slot. But, you know, um, it's fine. Don't take it early and limited. Don't play it in constructed. Meh. Card's fine. I don't like it. Fuhrer of the Bitten is a one red mana aura. It's a common. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and attacks each turn if able. So weirdly, this was a lot more expensive in like Rise of the Eldrazi or something like that. And it was insane to put on your opponent's creature and they just had to keep attacking you. You just didn't care because you were racing them. Pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think it's going to be like that in this set. Plus two plus two is pretty good for one red mana. Um, I don't like setting myself up to be two for one to limited or anything really. But, uh, you know. Maybe if you're really, really fast, this is worth it. But I doubt it. Don't play it in Constructed either. Someone test to see if it's good on my opponent's creature, but I doubt it. Gadric, the Crown Scourge. Two colors and a red. Legendary creature, dragon. Hey, we got a dragon, finally. It's a rare. It's flying. It's a 5-4. It can't attack unless you control four or more artifacts. Well, that's kind of rough. Oh, wait. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each non-token creature that died this turn. So it's got that weird morbid thing going on. If you're sacking stuff, you get artifacts. Then this thing can attack. But if you sack the artifacts, it can attack. Notably, it does block. Always. Three mana, five, four with flying. This card's good, guys. This card's real good and limited. Might see some constructed play. There's a way to, like, loop some stuff going. I know there is an in... in commander so maybe some weird graveyard synergy cycling my dude's deck in commander i don't know but yeah take that card super high in uh limited traitorous greed oh boy this card man two colors and a red for a sorcery good thing it's an uncommon because gain control of target creature until end of turn Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. Well, Zion, that's not that good. Oh, it is because add two mana of any one color. This is a two mana act of treason. This is going to see so much constructed play in the decks that are already running act of treason. Ugh. Yeah. All right, but if you have a lot of sack outlets, I like taking these. Um, in limited, also in constructed. That's why it's seeing a lot of constructed play because a lot of good uh, things with cat oven and all that nonsense going on right now. But uh, yeah, this card's okay in limited if you can get it to steal a creature and then sacrifice it. Seals seems really good, especially if you're only two mana. Oof, probably the two mana you the two mana rebate you get on this card probably pays to sacrifice the creature. Okay, Goblin Arsonist. This is definitely a reprint again. One red mana gets you a 1-1 Goblin Shaman. When it dies, have it deal one damage to any target. Uh, if you got a lot of sack outlets or you need a lot of morbid triggers, this guy's fine. He's not good, but he's he's just fine. I, I wouldn't play this anywhere else. 
Goblin Wizardry. Three colors and a red gets you an instant. It's common. Create two, one, one red goblin wizard creature tokens with prowess. I don't know what goblin wizard is, but that sounds like a lot of shenanigans. Uh, I don't think this card's very good in limited or constructed. Four mana for two power. Yeah, they have prowess, but uh, I don't think so. If you really need another instant or sorcery, I guess it's fine, but it's not really up my alley. Havoc Jester, four colors and a red. Uncommon, 5-5, five, five, Devil. Whenever you sacrifice permanent, Havoc Jester deals one damage to any target. So, yay, we have another Mayhem Devil effect. Luckily, this one costs five and not three, which is good. Or Because that deck definitely does not need any more in Constructed. Goodness gracious. This card is fine in Limited. 5-5 five, five for five, just fine. That's good. And then... You get this uh, trigger every once in a while. Like even if you get two triggers out of this, really good. So cool. Heartfire emulator. One color in a red. Human wizard. Two two uncommon. It has prowess. Pay a red. Sacrifice this thing. It deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. So for this is a three mana shock at worst right so if you have something you need to deal two damage to right away you can play this shock the creature or planeswalker um if not it's a two mana two two with upside upside like good upside upside this card's good in limited might even see constructed play though i doubt it lack of haste and doesn't hit the player yeah, I don't think it's going to see a whole lot of constructed play, but very, very good and limited. Hellkite Punisher. Five colors, red, red. Uncommon dragon. Six, six, flying. And it has fire breathing. Uh, which means pay red. It gets plus one, plus zero oh until end of turn. Yeah, we're on this weird seven mana cycle thing. Um, this is the red version, I guess. I'm going to say it again, if seven mana, if you can get to seven mana, this, these things are great, but I don't think you can, especially in red. So I think this is bad. No constructed play, they are much better, even coming up. Hubble Fiend, Colors in a red, gets you a 2-1, okay. It's a common devil, as trample, Okay. Sacrifice another creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on this thing. Okay, so we get a permanent buff to this guy with Trample, which is pretty cool. Two mana, two one, we'd probably play in the deck anyway sometime, some amount of the time. This one has all kinds of upside. Seems good to me. Uh, triggers, um, all of your morbid triggers, all of your death, gets, gets you all of your death triggers. But notably can also sack a stolen creature, right? We were just talking about that with the Act of Treason type effect. This can really help you out there. Igneous Cur, a colorless and a red, gets you a common elemental dog. One, two. You can pay one colorless and a red. It gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Yeah, some amount of time you're going to end up playing this in limited. You don't really want to, but it is what it is. Um, and someone's going to play this in a dog deck. That's pretty much the only constructed play it's going to see, just because it's a dog. All right, Carol, keep dis disciples. Sorry about that. Two colors, red, red, gives you a 4-3 human, human monk. It's an uncommon whenever you activate a loyalty ability of a Chandra Planeswalker. Carol, keep disciples. Deal one damage to each opponent. This is, yep, this is a Planeswalker deck card. It's bad. Don't play it. It's not unlimited either. Don't worry about it. Kinetic Augur, three colors and a red, gets you a star four, uncommon human shaman. It has trample. Its power and toughness, no, I'm sorry, its power is equal to the number of instant cards in your graveyard. When it is the battlefield, discard up to two cards, then draw that many. Yeah, this card could be really good, could be whiff, could be nothing, could be just a zero four for four mana, in limited. If this seeks constructed play, it's probably going to be because it's really good. I doubt it will, at least 
it, it might for the next three months, but then we're going to rotate out. We're going to lose Phoenix. We're going to lose all kinds of stuff in Constructed. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot out of this in Constructed. Auto Red Crackling Drake. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, except not as good. Um, this doesn't count cards in Exile, and which did end up mattering quite a bit, especially in Modern. And yeah, no flying. But Trample, Trample's kind of evasive. Yeah, I think this card will be very highly dependent on what the rest of your deck looks like in Limited. If it's good, it's good. All right. Good lord, I'm going to butcher this word. Anaki Ogre? I don't know. Two colors in a red. Ogre Warrior, 4-2. Yeah, we get this every once in a while. Last time it was a dinosaur. The time before that, it was like a cat or something. Um, sometimes it's good. Most of the times it's bad. I'm going to go with, from what I can see from this format, in limited, this card is not good. And definitely don't play it in constructed. Moving on. We got another reprint here. Pinch Burn Devils. Four colors and a red. Gets you a 3-3 Devil. When it dies, it deals three damage to any target. Yeah, this card's fine. It's a fine top end for the Sacrifice deck, for the Morbid deck kind of thing going on. This card is absolutely fine. Don't want too many. Maybe one or two. You want to pick them up late. Perfectly fine. Bad in Constructed. All right, we've got our red shrine. Two colors and a red gets you Sanctum of Shattered Heights. It's a legendary enchantment shrine. Pay one, discard a land card or a shrine card. Sanctum of Shattered Heights deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker where X is the number of shrines you control. Yes, this is very, very bad in limited and we'll see a lot of play in constructed. We're definitely going to sit down and brew a bad deck with this bad card. Pretty excited about it. Um, but yeah, don't play it in limited. And I don't know if it's going to work in standard, but I'm going to make it work in historic for sure. Okay, Scorching Dragonfire. Yet another reprint. One colorless and a red. Instant. It's common. Three Deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker. If that creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. This card's very good. Very good. Very cheap. Very common. Red removal. Take it. Be happy about it in your limited deck. And it even sees quite a bit of standard and brawl play. So, yeah. Card's good. Okay. Here's our next reprint. Shock. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll talk about it. One red. Shock deals two damage to any target. Instant speed been being played for the last year it's going to continue to play for the next year cards good play it in your limited deck take it take it early yep soul seer two colors and a red gets you an instant it's an uncommon soul seer deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker that permanent loses indestructible until end of turn well golly gee if i'm taking red removal this is what i want it to look like goodness gracious in limited this card is great take it be happy about it this is what's going to draw you into red if you didn't open like a rare or mythic obviously but this card is great uh probably not going to see any constructive play spell gorge are weird another reprint from or the spark two colors and a red Gets you a 2-2 common weird. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on this thing. Yep, this is your blue-red spell payoff. This card's very good. Way better than Pyroceratops from Ikoria. This card is amazing. Um, or at least it was in War of the Spark. This is definitely... You want quite a few of these. What a weird card. Aha! Yeah, this, this, this card single-handedly brought together an entire archetype uh, in War of the Spark. And, yeah, I imagine it's going to be pretty darn good in this. Uh, not constructed playable. It, we already have it, and it's not seeing any play. 
Stormcaller, two colors and a red, gets you an Ogre Shaman. It's a common, it's 3-2, when it enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to each opponent. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of a good mid-range card for red. This is kind of where you want to start curving out. You know, one drop into two, drop into this. Not bad. Kind of has almost sort of haste by dealing two to your opponent. It's fine. Not super exciting. Definitely not going to see any constructed play, but it's fine and limited. Okay, Subira. Okay. Tulzidi? Oh, man, I'm butchering this poor woman's name. Caravanner. Okay, Caravanner. I got that one right. Two colors and a red. Get to a legendary creature. Human Shaman. Rare. Two, three with haste. Pay one generic mana. Another target creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Okay. That's pretty good for, like, uh, getting those last points of damage in with your red deck. One colors and a red. Tap this thing. And since it has haste, you can do that right away. Discard your hand. Probably have zero cards in hand by the point. this point, at least. Prob yeah, probably. Until end of turn, whenever a creature you control with power two or less deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Oh my goodness gracious. That is a good magic card. Uh, yeah, in limited, this card is bonkers. Gets your little dudes in because they can't be blocked. For one mana, it does that. Uh, then you get to draw a card if you discard. Oh, my goodness. This card's great. Uh, probably will even see constructed play because of it. Sure strike. One colorless and a red. Instant. Target creature gets plus three, plus oh, and gains first strike until end of turn. Yeah. It's a fine trick. I've played these before. They were okay then. They're going to be okay now. If you have to have a trick in your red-white deck or something like that, this is a fine one. It's okay. It's cheap enough. It gives you a big enough boost, and first strike can mean that you don't trade. You end up just killing it. So, yeah, this card's fine. Um, might see play in feather decks, but I doubt it. I mean, if there is a feather brawl deck, that's probably where this will end up. Okay, we have a mythic dragon here. Three colors and a two red gets you Terror of the Peaks. Five, four, flying. Spells your opponent's cast that target Terror of the Peaks. Costs an additional three life to cast. Well, that's pretty good since you're in red. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. So basically grants haste to all your creatures, except they don't have to even attack. They just have to enter the battlefield. This card is bonkers good. In limited, in constructed, we're going to see this for the next year. Everywhere. Oh boy. This card's gonna be good. Now it might not be C C play in like um mono red because mono red's a bit faster than what this thing wants, and like top end, this isn't really where you want to be. You want to be like Ember Cleave or Torbrand. Um, but like a green red uh gruel aggro deck, oh boy. And this is gonna see play in Brawl. I doubt it's gonna make it to Commander, but it's fine in like Akalia the Vast or something like that. Um, there are a lot of big creature decks that want that second ability there. So, yeah, I assume we're going to be seeing this mythic a lot. Oh, my gosh. And if you open this in draft, congratulations. There are ways to give it death touch. Uh, sure, there are, pal. All right, we have another, 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 another reprint. Thrill of, thrill of possibility. This is pretty much where we're going with this effect. One colors and a red instant. It's a common as additional cost to cast the spell, discard a card, draw two cards. Yep, we've had this like three times in the last year and a half or something like that. Card's fine. Card's good. Um, it goes really well with your spell weird, so obviously you want this in like your blue-red deck. Um, but could also be in like a green-red deck with the drawing of extra cards. It's interesting. It's really interesting. Um, but yeah, we already see Thrill of Possibility in standard and even Commander sometimes, so I imagine we're going to see this, continue to see this a lot in Constructed, and yeah, it's good in Limited, too. Okay, this is a fun card. Transmogrify. Three colors and a red gets you a sorcery. It's a rare. Exile target creature. That creature's controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. That player puts that card onto the battlefield, then shuffles the rest into their library. So this is Polymorph, guys. We got a red Polymorph. This is straight up Polymorph. Now, Polymorph 
blue card from well, like 10, 10 years ago was an instant. I, uh, if I pretty sure, but um, I mean, this has like Luca's ability, but not on a five mana planeswalker. It's interesting, guys. I don't know if this is going to see any constructed play, but it's. I imagine someone's going to try and play this in modern. Now they just have another polymorph. Maybe. We'll see. Sorcery speed kind of hurts this card a little bit, but oof, it's good. Uh, definitely play this in limited. Um, but you got to be careful, though, because you might want to board it out. You might not even want to main deck it. So I, don't, I wouldn't take this high. Yeah, be careful and limited with this card. Turn to Slag, another reprint. Three colors, red, red, gets you a sorcery. Turn to Slag deals five damage to target creature, destroy all equipment attached to that creature. Now, we don't really have a problem with equipment in any format, really. Um, and a five mana way to deal with it isn't really that important. But five, five damage to target creature is fine. Um, earlier, we had a spell that did it for three mana. So compare and contrast. You'll play one or two of these, though. They're fine. Turret Ogre. Three colors and a red. Yet another reprint. Ogre Warrior. Common. 4-3. With reach. When it enters the battlefield, if you control another creature with power 4 or greater, it deals 2 damage to each opponent. Yep. Card's fine. It was fine in uh, War of the Spark. It's fine here. It triggers your other 4 power or greater cards. If you really need this kind of effect, it's good. It's four through four three for four with reach. Uh don't play it in constructed. Unleash Fury. Sweet art. Just punching a Minotaur. Double the power of target creature until end of turn. Instant speed for one colorless and a red. I imagine this is gonna see some constructed play with feather and other stuff like that. Good lord with uh Ember Cleave. This sounds gross. And it's probably just fine in limited as well. It's an instant, triggers your blue red prowessy things, makes them big. Yeah, it seems fine. Okay, volcanic geyser. X red red instant. X red red instant. Oh yeah, we're excited already. Uncommon. This thing deals X damage to any stinking target. Expansion Explosion just got two cheaper. This card's bonkers, 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 bonkers good in um, Limited. Oh my gosh, slam this card. This card's so good. It can finish a game, gives your deck reach, triggers your prowess stuff, kills something, anything. It's so good. This card's great in Limited. It's great in Constructed. We're going to see a lot of this card. Also a reprint, which is good. Oh boy, this card. Volcanic Salvo. Ten, color, 10 generic mana, red, red. So this thing costs 12 mana. Boy, this might this has to be good. Sorcery. It's a rare. This spell costs X less. Oh, good. To cast, where X is the total power of creatures you control. Okay. Cool. So it has that um, Galta kind of effect. Volcanic Salvo deals 6 damage to each up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers. So it's like a double removal spell that's extraordinarily expensive. If you can reliably do something with this in limited, man, is it good. If you can't, I would leave it in the board or not take it at all. I uh, imagine it'll be fairly reasonable to go, you know, turn two, turn three, turn four, creature, 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 turn five, activate this, kill two of their dudes, kill them. So seems good to me. Since this can't hit players, I don't see it seeing constructed play at all. All right. And that ends our review of the red cards. Stay tuned. Keep an eye out for the green cards. Link in the description for the other videos if you missed them. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay safe out there.